Uh, can you read what Ben says? Ben, we are. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, I'd love to take a gap year in New Zealand in 2022. What are your opinions on being an au pair there? I'll be 19 by the time I've heard. Um, I've heard it's harder for boys to find host families, too. Um, so there are a lot of au pair organizations in New Zealand. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a thing where there, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to do au pairing in New Zealand. So yes, first of all, you can definitely do that job. Um, in terms of if it's harder for uh, boys to find au pair hosts. Yes, it definitely is. I was having a chat actually with uh, Au Pair Link, which is a big uh, company of au pair here in New Zealand. Um, and actually we do have a lot of au pair chips and the information for you right here on nzpocketguy.com. I'll show it to you when Laura pick up the, the chatting. But I had a discussion yeah. with Opel Link and uh, they were definitely saying that it is significantly harder uh, to actually get uh, a job as an Opel in New Zealand as a boys, just because this is more what kind of thing that people are looking for girls to do more, more than anything. Also, if you do have a driver license, make sure that you have also an international driver license with you because that's very important. And if you do uh, go through an au pair company, which do placement and everything like that, it's, it's quite handy. Uh, they will also help you get a little certificate that, that you have a little training, you have like a two hour training for driving in New Zealand, just uh, to wish them that you can drive their kids as well. So just, uh, just an extra bit of information right here. Um, so yeah, by the way, everybody on the chat, and Ben, I'll get back to you in a second. Everybody in the chat, we will read all your comments. Uh, we're just falling a little bit behind, but uh, Cecile, stick around, Ezekiel, stick around. Uh, we will read your comments and answer your question um, in a second. So what I want to do for you, Ben, is just to show you here on uh, on NZ Pocket Guide. So that's the site here. Um, so if you type, if you go on nzpocketguide.com, it's all free. You type au pair right here, you will find a lot of articles about, uh, op, you know, being an au pair if you want to uh, you know, work, uh, do your homework basically. So you have things you need to know when being an au pair, winning reasons to be an au pair, you know, being an au pair in New Zealand is like a full guide right here, which is going to be quite handy for you. So I'm going to click on this one. And it's really kind of most of the information that you need um, where, you know, how to find your job uh, as an au pair uh, or what are the, the requirements as well and what kind of duties you can expect to, to, to do as well as obviously what you will get as a compensation for your work. So we do have a lot of information at the ready for you. So it may be something that you may want to check out. Um, so yes, it's in nzpocketguy.com. So you may want to check this out. Anyway, um, what were you saying, Laura? Um, yeah, I was just, just going to say like that you have the option to either go with an, um, an agency like Au Pair Link or you have the option to try and do it yourself where, for instance, a lot of um, families will put their own listings on job boards and websites. For instance, we do have a job board on nzpocketguide.com as well, where we do get a lot of families um, putting their jobs through, uh, through basically our website. But um, there's also a lot of advantages if you feel like um, because there is a little bit of that barrier of, I guess, being male and um, some families preferring females for being for an au pair. Perhaps it would be best to go with an agency who can give you sort of, um, you know, the, the training and basically look, make you more like, you know, make you look more sort of valuable as an au pair. And also they have a lot of um you know, they have uh, access to a lot of different hosts and stuff, and you're more likely to find a variety of hosts, whereas maybe on job boards and stuff, you don't really have that that same variety. Um, and also uh, agencies like Au Pair Link will also make sure that you're getting, you know, the fair, fair wage and fair sort of, you know, making sure that your living conditions are good and, and they're sort of there as a support as well. So, um, uh, personally, I, I would go through the agency route, um, but just just also know that there is the independent route as well if you wanted to uh, go it alone. And we do have some videos on the channel as well about au pair Ben. So if you want to keep on going with your research, we do have plenty yes. there. And good luck on your research as well. Yeah. yeah, but we've done most of the work for you. So yes. seriously, head to NZ Pocket Guide. You got all the info. I mean, we have like 3000 articles anyway, so you get, you're going to get a ton on there. 
Anyway, Ben, if uh, that was useful, and if any of you guys are watching that and think that useful, YouTube is telling me again to hit like because nobody hits like, which is watching or whatever it says on the screen, and, and <laughs> that doesn't matter to me. But yeah, here you go. I said it. <laughs>